In this video, we solve problem 8.1.24 from Essentials of Statistics, sixth edition by Mario Triola. The problem statement says the test statistic of Z equals negative 2.20 is obtained when testing the claim that P is equal to one half. In part A, we're asked to find the critical values when we're using a significance level of alpha equals 0.05. And then in part B, we're asked if we should reject the null or fail to reject the null. So I'm going to share my paper with you so we can talk this through and then we'll come back here and use the standard normal distribution links that they've given us. Oops. Here we go. Okay. This is the question that we're working on right now. So let's um, always start by stating the claim and stating the null and alternative hypotheses. So our claim is that the true population proportion is equal to one half. Now, if that's not true, we'd have P is not equal to one half. Um, this uh, statement contains the condition of equality, so that's our null hypothesis, and this is our alternative hypothesis. Now, because this is a not equals sign um, in our alternative hypothesis, this is a two-tailed test. So when I draw my sampling distribution, of sample proportions, that's p hat, So we're imagining we took a bunch of samples, all of the same size, and for each sample, we computed a p hat, we computed a sample proportion. And then we looked at the distribution of all of those p hats, and we got something that looked like this. Well, we said earlier, um, when we studied sampling distributions, that the mean of that um, collection of sample proportions is equal to the true population proportion. Um, that makes it an unbiased estimator. And that's one of the beauties, <laughs> beautiful qualities of P hat um, as an estimator of P. It gives us exactly what we want. Now, when we're sketching this here, we're making an assumption. We're assuming that the population proportion is the population proportion stated in our null hypothesis. So we're making the assumption that P is equal to one half. And then the question is, um, okay, the, if using this as our sampling distribution of sample proportions under the assumption that the sample mean or the mean of the sample proportions is the population proportion of one half under that assumption. Um, we wanna find the significance or find the critical values associated with a significance level of alpha equals 0 0.05. So we want 5% of the area. Since this is a not equals sign, that means we're going to use a two tailed test That means we want 5% of the area split into two tails. So I've got um, half of that over here, so that's 0 0.025 as that area, and the other half over there, that's 0 0.025 as well. And the question is, what are the critical values? Well, we're gonna get two values. We're gonna get this z-score and the opposite of it over here. We're gonna have a negative version and a positive version. And then because of the symmetry there. And the question is, well, what are those values? Okay, well, one way that you could do it is you could find the critical value that corresponds to this area to the left of 0 0.025. So I'll go back to my homework screen. Oops, that's not the screen I wanted. There we go. And I'm looking for this negative z-score. So I'll go to page one of our standard normal distribution. And I want the area to be 0 0.0250. So I'm looking for that in the body of the table. Up oh, there it is right there. That corresponds to negative 1.9. And I bet that's a six, yeah, negative 1.96. Now, because of symmetry, the other z-score 
is going to be positive 1.96. The z-score that separates this 2.5% of the area at the bottom is negative 1.96. So the z-score that would separate um, the rest of the area from that 2.5% of the area at the top would be positive 1.96. So the critical values, we actually have two of them, are given by plus and minus uh, 1.96. Now I think my lab statistics might want you to enter those as a comma separated list. So let's go back to that screen and make sure we answer the question in the way that they want us to answer it. Okay, so we're here. And it says round to two decimal places as needed, use a comma, comma to separate answers as needed. Okay, so I guess that's what they want. So we'll have negative 1.96 and positive 1.96. Okay, great. And then it says state the correct conclusion below. Now let's go back to our picture. Now when we're deciding what to conclude, we need to see where our test statistic is um, relative to those critical Z values or relative to that critical region. Well, this is negative 1.96 and that's Z equals negative 2.2. So this is 1.96 standard deviations below the mean. Um, I guess I have, it looks like I've converted this over to z-scores rather than using um, the original uh, non-standard normal distribution. But anyway, um, the, the areas are going to be, uh, they're going to correspond to the same thing anyway. Um, but we've got negative 1.96 standard deviations here um, and then this is negative 2.2 standard deviation. So we're 2.2 standard deviations below that mean after converting to that standard normal distribution. And negative 2.2 is gonna be way out here. Negative 2.20. Now that is in the critical region. So we'll say that since this test statistic, I'll, I'll write it as Z sub test is in the critical region What that means is the um, sample proportion corresponding to that test statistic is significantly low. And if it's significantly low, we'd say that's pretty rare that it's so low. Um, I'll say, well, if it's significantly low um, and that's ex extremely rare, um, maybe our assumptions were wrong. That's what that rare rule a rare event rule says. So maybe the assumption that P is equal to one half is wrong. And so we're going to reject the null. So we say, since Z is in the critical region, um, we reject the null. And in that case, since our claim happened to be equal to the, or our claim happened to be um, the same as the null hypothesis, we're rejecting the claim. Um, so we'll say that there is sufficient evidence to reject the claim that the true population proportion is equal to one half. Okay, so let's go back to our homework and see what options they give us. Okay, so we are rejecting the null and We'll say that there is sufficient evidence to warrant rejection of that claim. Oops, rejecting the null, not failing to reject the null. Okay, that's it for that question.